I'm Assemblywoman Park Eun-hee. I've been accused of aiding- Who is Park Eun-hee and how her role will lead up to All of Us Are Dead Season 2? Eun-hee is an Assemblywoman for Hyosun. We were first introduced to her when the zombie outbreak started. Anjo's dad, Sochu, is sent on a rescue mission to escort an Assemblywoman to safety. Situation got out of hand and they couldn't leave, so they must wait the next day for the helicopter to pick them up. Uni believes in the power she has as an assemblywoman and believes that as long as she saves the most people, she is doing the right thing. Therefore, she ends up making many wrong choices and saying the wrong things. Number 1. Misjudging Others When Sochu wanted to leave to Hyosan High to save his daughter, Uni remarked that seeing Yusin like a kid. Later we find out that Sochu and Yusin were once part of the special mission unit. So Yusin isn't some kid in a firefighter uniform, he was once a high commanding officer. This shows how Unhee underestimate people based on their looks. Number 2. Unhee was overconfident. The next day, they were all rescued. Unhee thought that just because she arrived on a helicopter and got escorted to the front of the line that she has special privileges because of her title. Nope, the only thing she got was a bigger room and a small bed as compared to everyone else. That's because the soldier here are very fair and treat everyone equally. Number 3. Uni believes in the system. Soju said that he really needs to go rescue his daughter and quarantine can take 2 weeks or more, but Uni told him to be patient as it will only take a few hours or days. Then when the soldier that came in told him that the quarantine can take up to 4 months, Uni realized just how much wrong she can be. It was only after Soju left that Uni start to learn how to be a better person. And here are the events I believe that will lead up to season 2. Number 1. The soldiers later learn that Uni is an assemblywoman and is part of the National Defense Committee. That means she ranks very high. She is part of the department that oversees the defense of the whole country. So technically all the soldiers should be under her command. But the soldiers are using the excuse of martial law and claim they have all the power. And they're using the power to do what is right. Number 2. After Soju escaped, the soldiers try to blame everything on Unhee to destroy her reputation by forcing her to make a statement on national television. That way, if after the zombie outbreak is over and Unhee gets her power back as an assemblywoman at the national meeting, she can't do anything to the soldiers because they can use the tape to bribe her. However, the table turned as Unhee used the opportunity to make a wonderful speech showing how much she care about her people. Number 3. Commanding Officer Seon Mu, after Unhee confession, he now believes that she is a good person, so he wants to protect her. So he moved her team to a new location that is safer. Number 4. The committee leader wanted Unhee to resign. So after they bomb Hyosan, they can blame everything on her, claiming that she acted on her own. That way he can protect the reputation of his group. Number 5. After the bombing of Hyosan, the commanding officer believes that only Unhee can save Hyosan and the whole country. The bombing of the city, although it killed 10,000 innocent people but also 50,000 infected zombies, so it was considered a good decision. However, he knows that if Unhee was in charge, she would never do that. So he was willing to take all the blame and his life and because he is a soldier, he was willing to make that choice he knows no one can make. He asked Unhee to take care of the people after he's gone. So to sum it all up, Unhee is a chicken. She is afraid. She hides behind her title thinking it will protect her. In the end, even her leader doesn't want her. While on the other hand, Unhee learns from the two men she met. One is Anjo dad Soju, who would run into danger to save his daughter. And the other one is the commanding officer who gave up his life to be the person that killed 60,000 people in order to save the country. Both men run into danger instead of running away. And this leads us to number 6. Unhee tore up the resignation paper. She is now determined. She will not quit and she will not run away. She wants to become an assemblywoman again. She will return to her national defense committee so she can have the power. And with that power, she will protect her people by hunting down every single zombie that are left. So in season 2, we may see her taking up her title and having the power to command a large army. The only hint the director gave us about Season 2 is, he said, in Season 1, it's about the human struggle to survive when the zombies attack. And in Season 2, it would be about the survival of the zombies trying to survive the human attack. Alright, hope you guys enjoy the video. Bye!